Well, hello, beautiful world. Welcome back to... We're not in the Morgan Clubhouse. We are in the Traveling Crazy Mobile. And today, I thought, okay, how fun would it be if you and me made we and we went out for a little afternoon adventure. What do you think of that? I think it's gonna be absolutely epically fun. However, we'll see what transpires in this magical day. First stop, phalange time. If you see right now on my right hand, I have pink with black hearts. What do you think is gonna happen this time? Ooh, I know. I am such a boring, basic, crazy girl that I'm gonna just, you'll see. However, I do wanna share a quick tip, okay? Quick tip, and normally I have cute little envelopes, but this is just a paper envelope that came from the bank. And it is, ladies and gentlemen, all boys and girls of all ages, always remember this little tidbit here, cash is king. And if you can pay in cash as much as possible, get your hiney over to the bank, withdraw your coins, and have them on you so you, my dear, can feel the love, the light, and sometimes how painful it is when you pay with cash. Okay, so old gal Sherry advice time is off, and we... You and me make we. I, I'm like legit laying in the back seat of the car, and this isn't even the car I was gonna take today. So, after we get our nails done and go grab some coffee, we will probably be in the little what I named Damon. Well, we named her Damon like a long time ago, but it is one of my very favorite cars that I have, and I am so excited because I know that you and me make we and we can do some fun damage here in the beautiful city of sun macula let's oh shoe buttons make sure your envelope is closed time these are what they look like for richard now it's time to do the finger how tired of you of me getting these same nails really tired she's really <laughs> tired of it okay see we're doing a vlog today of what it like this afternoon adventures and mm -hmm. this is our first stop and do i get the most boring nail design no <laughs> but you get the same one like every time for like months <laughs> yeah see it is what it is that's the queen we just finished getting our phalanges done and so we're heading back to the car we are going to go to starbucks okay quick tip on the tip that i was talking about earlier about paying with cash not only that this is important okay not only that you pay with cash but make sure when you go to the bank and get your money out break it down to ones legit you always want to have ones and fives on you so you can easily tip exactly what you would like to tip someone however think about this if you only get 20s 50s and 100s you're kind of limited sometimes because some of us might feel kind of funky like not like giving a like adequate tip and the way that the world is working right now when it comes to tipping at almost every place you're at why put yourself through that Put yourself in the best position you can be in. Wow, words of wisdom today. It must be butterflies coming out of my head. Who knows? Let's go to Starbucks. You know hot venti decaf Americanos. The venti decaf hot Americanos, okay? Okay, so I have made Element Jello here on my channel before. However, I thought I would throw these two little recipes in because they're super quick, super yummy, and they don't have any of the powdered packets in them. 
So, and one of them isn't even electrolyte. So it's just like something that popped into my head one day. However, if you want to make it into an electrolyte jello, I wonder if it would work with this. Like you just like legit made me think of this. Hold on, hold on. At the same time, I have to grab some of these, which I forgot anyways to do. So yeah, we're doing it. So I had to grab some of these anyways, so it worked out great. Now, I have on hand this right here. It's called Snake Juice. It is basically an electrolyte drink, and I think Cole Robinson, please do not quote me on that, because I am not gonna be doing fact checking. He had created this product, and it is like legit just magnesium, sodium, potassium. He adds a little boron, which AKA is like a baking soda. I have not tried it yet. However, I was thinking to myself, if I wanted to make a yummy flavor that goes with this, why not add a couple packets of true lemon? And if you are into the sweeteners, you could use monk fruit, you could use some stevia, you could use like stevia glycate. They're, they're, the sky's the limit, okay? And then for some of those that do not even care about sucralose, yeah, just do your thing. Again, we're here at a place of peace. So let's get started on these little jellos real quick so we can pop them in the video. And I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna do the whole entire process. We need to wait for hours or whatever, or maybe I will, who knows, right? Right, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the sparkling element and just do this with it. And we'll make this one in this cup, the red. The red is sparkling. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. It doesn't really matter how much, but at the same time, we're gonna do sparkling lemon jello. Okay, so how are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it by adding some San Pellegrino first. Oh, take the lid off, that helps. I actually have a little bit of Tapo Chico left from this morning when I made one of my new little, I'm coming up with a new little concoction with our armor shake. And I'm gonna see if this works, but I was using Tapo Chico, San Pellegrino, you name it, we did it. Okay, so we have our beef gelatin here, which if y'all didn't see how we poured the big bag in, we did. This is a tablespoon. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle both of these with the tablespoon. And I'm sure this would probably work with like the true lime as well. I just never tried it. But I do have my sweetener at hand here, Miss Monk Fruit, because I like to add the true lemon with the sparkling water and some of the monk fruit and stevia. And she is fire so freaking good in our element of a hair which i know there was like this big controversy over the maltodextrin however there's not any in here and i freaking love the way this jello turns out because spoiler alert we're gonna take some of the zevia vanilla cola and put it in there as well and it, it's just so freaking yummy, you guys. And I know there are people out there that are sensitive to these sweeteners. If you are sensitive to the sweeteners, do you boo and let me know down below what it is that you do instead and that you could make this your own without having to add all the crazy that I like to add to it. So now that we let this set for a minute, we're gonna put some of this hot water in that I have for my little trusty tea kettle. And believe it or not, the element is flavored enough, which I mean, the element was our red one, right? Okay, so that's good. The one on with the true lemon, that one right there, I mean, your measurements don't have to be perfect. I would say though, with the element one, you wanna make sure that you're able to put the whole can in, which since this is a four cup serving, you're definitely gonna be able to do that. And then 
we end up pouring the topping it off with this and the flavors together are absolute fire I, it's so good like i i wonder myself like girl how do you think of this stuff and i'm just like well that's what happens when you spend time with piggies all day guinea pigs and skinny piggies which if you do not know a skinny piggy was made in a lab in the 70s and they were actually made and if you feel their skin which when i give like the piggies massages legit you guys they were made to be like human test like skin piggies but the tests i do with them are on their hay cookies massage and yes we have a fashion show coming up so this is dissolving all nice and pretty like she should and then it's so freaking easy you guys all we have to do to add to our element jello is the rest of the element and she looks like she's pretty good i mean yeah so let's do it you can do the jello making dance. So I use the whole can, let it settle down, and then let's add the rest of our Topo Chico because that's what I had from this morning. I'm not gonna waste it. See, and we're making nice, twice as nice. Even though I do, I like to buy my bad guys because. There is a certain brand by Arrowhead and Glacier Ice that makes my freaking snow cone absolutely fire. So let's pour the sparkling water in here. And she's still settling down over here. She's still like high is fuzzy and doing her thing. Now I have found that in the lemon jello, lemon jello, what are your children's names? Lamangelo and Arangelo. Okay, did you get it? I thought that was funny. Okay, so this is four packets right here. And then we'll add our sweetener to it. So pour that in. I know, we're getting crazy here, aren't we? And then let's add our sweetener to it. Okay, hold up. Where is, I'm still here. Don't worry about me. I am still here. I am still here. I know you're probably wishing I wasn't sometimes. Okay, sorry. I got the wrong bottle. There is the monk fruit I was looking for. I have, like I said, the stevia glycerate. And let me see if I can pull her out real quick. Because she is lemon flavored. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Look, there she is. Okay. So, wait, hold on. Let me do that again. Better stevia lemon. Like, what is that? Lemon twist? Yeah. Do the twist. So, let's pour. This is what I was kind of looking for. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of twist. All right. So, the beautiful part about this versus making like the um, Armra Colostrum Jello, that was kind of fussy. This one, you can just go ahead and just do it and you're going to make it work because it'll work for you. Let's top her off with the sparkling. And you know what? The reason why I make it with the sparkling, you can make it with just water. I just, it gets all tingly. I like the tingle. I think it's kind of fun. Alrighty. So as you can see, she settled down a lot quicker than our friend over here, Mr. Element. But we're just going to mix this up. And I'm going to taste it to make sure it's sweet enough. Oh my gosh, you guys. You brought me freaking awesome luck. This is good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to have this tonight. It's beef gelatin, the true lemon packets, that stevia glycerate that you saw, the better stevia, and the monk fruit. Mm. This is where it's at, man. That, that's fire. 
That is Elmo emoji fire or whatever that GIF, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do over here in our element is take our Zevia Vanilla Cola. This is really yummy with ginger ale too. So you just go ahead and you pour her in like this. And it's up to you if you want to add a little bit more sweetener. However, the Zevia sweetened and the flavor of this one, I think, did I already say it? This is the black cherry lime. Black cherry lime with the vanilla goes so good. And even though she's not settled down yet, I want to taste her. It's so good. It is so good. The other one tastes definitely more sweet and more lemony. Of course it should. But this one right here is still pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit of that monk fruit. And I do have some stevia that is not flavored. And it is not one with erythritol. I'm not a big fan of the erythritol. I know some are. And I know some love allulose. But yeah, all that stuff does not love me back. It'll send me flying. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So freaking yummy. It really is. And this, my little baby dolls, is how we make the element jello. And that is exactly how we make the delicious little lemon jello. And yeah, so let's just keep going on with our little afternoon. Like we said earlier, I mean, tips and tricks, tips and tricks today. And we'll play with some piggies, maybe practice a little pull, and then say, love and light. And there's nothing wrong with saying it now, too. So let's see what we're up to next. Okay, we're about to go upstairs to do a little bit of pole practice and the handstand challenge. However, first we had to say hi to the babies. Hi, honey. How are you? Oh, I love you, Mr. Itchy. Yes, itch and scratchy. Hi. Hi. Hi, Scratch. <laughs> We're going to run. We all just woke up having a little snack. Say hi. Can you show how cute you are? Yeah, you're such a sweet boy. You're a sweet baby. And you're a sweet baby. And let's see, where is, there's Miss Riri. She's at the water and hole. Hi. Hey, little princess. How are you? Oh, I love you. They want treats, that is for sure. And there is my little queen, Petunia Cardi P. I just put crack in it, hay in the cribs. So they're kind of snacking on that right now. If you can see that she's like going to try to snatch the hay. And this one, she doesn't know where she's going to go. But yeah, back to her little Heidi. And then Savage is just chilling like a villain. Heroes and villains. Hi, gorgeous. My sweet little boy. All right, you all enjoy your snack time while Mama goes and does the handstand challenge. And then after that, we are going to go and check out the members only Old Guy Carnivore live stream. It's so fun. I love everybody in there. Great community. Oh my goodness. It, look at it. Look at Scratchy's eye. Here, hold on. Just look at him. He's almost like that. He's that guy that sleeps with the one I open. <laughs> this is so funny. You go, err. Look him grunt and do all kinds of funny things. But it's my stir. I'm going to go upstairs and do some pole. But first, 
Let's see if he's in the mood to get a little rubby. Hey, you want some rub or are you just eating? He's like, Mom, I just want a snack. That's all I want right now. I don't want you to mess with me. Do you? You, oh, okay. Then he's like, okay, hold up. I'll take a little rub rub. <laughs> oh, you're a sweet boy. I love you. And I love you. Yes. All you guys are just so freaking adorable. Okay. Couldn't can go without a little piggy jello. So we just finished the jello, playing with the piggies, and now it is time to train some pole. This is not the handstand challenge. This is just what we're doing for practice. So are you ready to go do some practice? This is so fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's my first time doing this. So having you with me has been just, it has been so much fun. So let's just practice really quick. And then I do need to go do the handstand challenge because I haven't done it yet. So we're just gonna monkey around. Just do things a little bit different. You know, just little fun things, but again, I am wearing Ugg boots and a quilted sweatshirt. So when it comes to doing pull tricks, that is definitely the recipe to slip, 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 slip. So I won't bore you with more pull action here. Instead, we will move on, move on, move on. Make you okay for me in here. We are going to do the vibration plate for a half hour now and so I hop on her and I use my little remote right here and you'll see that we're going to start shaking now and I like to pop her up to like 50 something like that and it's probably going to get a little bit shaky and I don't want to freak people out. So we're going to do this for about a half hour and say night night. Thank you again for hanging out with me today. It was so freaking fun. I love you to pieces and look forward to seeing you in the next video.